Samaria, Hebrew, Samarwin Standard Samran, Tiberian Samran, Arabic, Alsamert as Samara, also known as Jibel Nablus, Nablus Mountains, is a historical and biblical name used for the central region of ancient land of Israel, also was known as Palestine, bordered by Galilee to the north and Judea to the south. For the beginning of the Common Era, Josephus set the Mediterranean Sea as its limit to the west, and the Jordan River as its limit to the east. Its territory largely corresponds to the biblical allotments of the tribe of Ephraim and the western half of Manasseh. After the death of Solomon and the splitting up of his empire into the southern kingdom of Judah and the northern one of Israel, this territory constituted the southern part of the kingdom of Israel. The border between Samaria and Judea is set at the latitude of Ramallah. The name, Samaria, is derived from the ancient city of Samaria, the second capital of the northern kingdom of Israel. The name likely began being used for the entire kingdom not long after the town of Samaria had become Israel's capital, but it is first documented after its conquest by Sargon II of Assyria, who turned the kingdom into the province of Samarina. Samaria has been revived as an administrative term in 1967, when the West Bank has been defined by Israeli officials as the Judea and Samaria area, of which the entire area north of the Jerusalem district district is termed as Samaria. Jordan ceded its claim to the area to the Palestine Liberation Organization in August 1988. In 1994, control of areas a full civil and security control by the Palestinian Authority and b Palestinian civil control and joint Israeli-Palestinian security control were transferred by Israel to the Palestinian Authority. The Palestinian Authority and the international community do not recognize the term Samaria. In modern times, the territory is generally known as part of the West Bank. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Etymology. According to the Hebrew Bible, the Hebrew name Shamran is derived from the individual or clan Shemer, from whom King Omri ruled 880s to 870s BCE purchased the hill on which he built his new capital city 1 Kings 16 verse 24. .The fact that the mountain was called Shomerin when Omri bought it may indicate that the correct etymology of the name is to be found more directly, in the Semitic root for «guard», hence its initial meaning would have been Watch Mountain. In the earlier cuneiform inscriptions, Samaria is designated under the name of Bet Humri, the House of Omri. But in those of Tiglath Pileser III, ruled 745 to 727 BCE, and later it is called Samarin, after its Aramaic name Shamrayan. Topic. Historical boundaries The classical Roman Jewish historian Josephus wrote, For now as to the country of Samaria, it lies between Judea and Galilee, it begins at a village that is in the great plain called Genia, and ends at the Akrabine Toparchy, and is entirely of the same nature with Judea, for both countries are made up of hills and valleys, and are moist enough for agriculture, and are very fruitful. They have abundance of trees, and are full of autumnal fruit, both that which grows wild, and that which is the effect of cultivation. They are not naturally watered by many rivers, but derive their chief moisture from rain water, of which they have no want, and for those rivers which they have, all their waters are exceeding sweet, by reason also of the excellent grass they have, their cattle yield more milk than do those in other places, and, what is the greatest sign of excellency and of abundance, they each of them are very full of people. Five in the limits of Samaria and Judea lies the village Anuath, which is also named Borsa. Seos. This is the northern boundary of Judea. In biblical times, Samaria reached from the Mediterranean Sea to the Jordan Valley, including the Carmel Ridge and Plain of Sharon. 
At the beginning of the Common Era, the boundary between Samaria and Judea passed eastwards of Antipatris, along the deep valley which had Beth Rima today's Beit Rima and Beth Laban today's al al on its southern, Judean bank, then it passed Anuath and Borseos, identified by Charles William Wilson as the ruins of Aina and Kerbet Burkett, and reached the Jordan Valley north of Akrabim and Sartak. Mount Hazor also stands at that boundary. Topic: <inaudible> Modern Time Administrative Regions. In modern times, Samaria was one of six administrative districts of British-ruled Mandatory Palestine, following the administration of the West Bank by Israel in 1967. The Israelis continued to refer to the territories by their biblical names and argued for their usage on historical, religious, nationalist, and security grounds. Topic. Geography To the north, the area known as the Hills of Samaria is bounded by the Jezreel Valley, to the east, by the Jordan Rift Valley, to the northwest, by the Carmel Ridge, to the west, by the Sharon Plain, and to the south, by the Jerusalem Mountains. The Samarian hills are not very high, seldom reaching the height of over 800 metres. Samaria's climate is more hospitable than the climate further south. There is no clear division between the mountains of southern Samaria and northern Judea. History Ancient According to the Hebrew Bible, the Israelites captured the region known as Samaria from the Canaanites and assigned it to the tribe of Joseph. After the death of King Solomon c. 931 BC, the northern tribes, including those of Samaria, separated from the southern tribes and established the separate Kingdom of Israel. Initially its capital was Terza until the time of King Omri c. BC, who built the city of Shamran and made it his capital. In 726–722 BC, the new king of Assyria, Shalmaneser v, invaded Canaan and besieged the city of Samaria. After an assault of three years, the city fell and much of its population was taken into captivity and deported. Little documentation exists for the period between the fall of Samaria and the end of the Assyrian Empire. It seems likely that many returned in 715 BC due to slave revolts that Assyrian king Sargon was enduring. Tremper Longman III suggests that Ezra chapter 4 verses 2, 9 to 10 implies that later Assyrian kings also returned more Israelites to Samaria. In the Bible, Samaria was condemned by the Hebrew prophets for its ivory houses and luxury palaces displaying pagan riches. In AD 6, the region became part of the Roman province of Judea after the death of King Herod the Great. Over time, the region has been controlled by numerous different civilizations, including Israelites, Babylonians, the classical Persian Empire, ancient Greeks, Romans, Byzantines, Arabs, Crusaders, and Ottoman Turks. <laughs> New Testament references The New Testament mentions Samaria in Luke chapter 17 verses 11 to 20 in the miraculous healing of the 10 lepers which took place on the border of Samaria and Galilee. John chapter 4 verses 1 to 26 records Jesus encounter at Jacob's well with the woman of Sychar in which he declares himself to be the Messiah. In Acts chapter 8 verse 2 it is recorded that the early community of disciples of Jesus began to be persecuted in Jerusalem and were scattered throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached and healed the sick there. 
In the time of Jesus, Judea of the Romans was divided into the toparchies of Judea, Samaria, Galilee and the Paralia. Samaria occupied the center of Judea. John chapter 4 verse 4. Judea was later renamed Syria-Palestina in 135 following the Bar Kokhba revolt. In the Talmud, Samaria is called the land of the Cutham. Topic: <laughs> Modern history. The modern history of Samaria began when the territory of Samaria, formerly part of the Ottoman Empire, was entrusted to the United Kingdom to administer in the aftermath of World War I as a mandatory Palestine district of Samaria between 1918–1948. The 1947 UN partition plan called for the Arab state to consist of several parts, the largest of which was described as, "...the hill country of Samaria and Judea." As a result of the 1948 Arab–Israeli War, most of the territory was unilaterally incorporated as Jordanian-controlled territory, and was administered as part of the West Bank west of the Jordan River. The Jordanian-held West Bank was captured and been occupied by Israel in the 1967 Six-Day War. Jordan ceded its claims in the West Bank except for certain prerogatives in Jerusalem to the PLO in November 1988, later confirmed by the Israel-Jordan Treaty of Peace of 1994. In the 1994 Oslo Accords, the Palestinian Authority was established and given responsibility for the administration over some of the territory of West Bank areas A and B. Samaria is one of several standard statistical districts utilized by the Israel Central Bureau of Statistics. The Israeli CBS also collects statistics on the rest of the West Bank and the Gaza district. It has produced various basic statistical series on the territories, dealing with population, employment, wages, external trade, national accounts, and various other topics. The Palestinian Authority, however, used Nablus, Janin, Tulkarm, Kalkilia, Salfit, Ramallah, and Tuba's governorates as administrative centers for the same region. The Shamran Regional Council is the local municipal government that administers the smaller Israeli towns settlements throughout the area. The council is a member of the network of regional municipalities spread throughout Israel. Elections for the head of the council are held every five years by Israel's Ministry of Interior. All residents over age 17 are eligible to vote. In special elections held in August 2015, Yossi Dagan was elected as head of the Shamran Regional Council. Israeli settlements in the West Bank are considered by the international community to be illegal under international law, but the Israeli government disputes this. In September 2016, the town board of the American town of Hempstead in the state of New York, led by Councilman Bruce Blakeman entered into a partnership agreement with the Shamran Regional Council, led by Yossi Dagan, as part of an anti-boycott, divestment and sanctions campaign. Archaeology Ancient city of Samaria, Sebaste The ancient site of Samaria Sebaste covers the hillside overlooking the Palestinian village of Sebastia on the eastern slope of the hill. Remains have been found from the Canaanite, Israelite, Hellenistic, Herodian, Roman, and Byzantine era. Archaeological finds from Roman era Sebaste, a site that was rebuilt and renamed by Herod the Great in 30 BC, include a colonnaded street, a temple lined Acropolis, and a lower city, where John the Baptist is believed to have been buried. The Harvard excavation of Samaria, which began in 1908, was headed by Egyptologist George Andrew Reisner. 
The findings included Hebrew, Aramaic, cuneiform and Greek inscriptions, as well as pottery remains, coins, sculpture, figurines, scarabs and seals, faience, amulets, beads and glass. The joint British-American Hebrew University excavation continued under John Winter Crowfoot in 1931–35, during which time some of the chronology issues were resolved. The round towers lining the Acropolis were found to be Hellenistic, the Street of Columns was dated to the 3–4 th century, and 70 inscribed potsherds were dated to the early 8th century. In 1908–1935, remains of luxury furniture made of wood and ivory were discovered in Samaria, representing the Levant's most important collection of ivory carvings from the early 1st millennium BC. Despite theories of their Phoenician origin, some of the letters serving as fitters' marks are in Hebrew. Other ancient sites Dothan ancient city, identified with Tel Dothan near Janine Nablus area Mount Gerizim, Samaritan and Byzantine ruins Mount Ebel, Iron Age remains Tel Balata, identified as Biblical Shechem Shiloh Biblical city, identified with Kerbet Silan, Tel Shiloh Terza ancient city, the first capital of the Northern Kingdom of Israel, identified with Tel El Farah North. <laughs> Samaritans. The Samaritans Hebrew, Shamranim, are an ethnoreligious group named after and descended from ancient Semitic inhabitants of Samaria, since the Assyrian exile of the Israelites, according to 2 Kings 17 and 1st century historian Josephus. Religiously, the Samaritans are adherents of Samaritanism, an Abrahamic religion closely related to Judaism. Based on the Samaritan Torah, Samaritans claim their worship as the true religion of the ancient Israelites prior to the Babylonian exile, preserved by those who remained in the land of Israel. Their temple was built at Mount Gerizim in the middle of the 5th century BCE, and was destroyed under the Hasmonean king John Hyrcanus of Judea in 110 BCE, although their descendants still worship among its ruins. The antagonism between Samaritans and Jews is important in understanding the Bible's New Testament stories of the "'Samaritan Woman at the Well' and "'Parable of the Good Samaritan". The modern Samaritans, however, see themselves as co-equals in inheritance to the Israelite lineage through Torah, as do the Jews, and are not antagonistic to Jews in modern times. See also Archivites Samaritan revolts List of burial places of biblical figures Awit Judea and Samaria area, 